Okay, so I've been wanting to make a video where I go over the stereo system in my Tundra Crew Max. But before we get to that, I think we should wash it up real quick. The truck is super dirty. Also, it's been really windy lately, so the driveway's a mess. So let's blow off the driveway, wash the truck, and then we'll go inside and I'll give you guys a tour. All right. Shower? Center? Phone? Pull? This? That? No. Oh yeah. You know, I almost think I like shower the best. I think it's the best one. So about a year and a half ago, I picked up this 2012 Toyota Tundra, a certified used vehicle, and uh, I managed to get it without uh, having to get a loan. I sold a 4Runner that I owned outright, added some cash, picked it up. Uh, it wasn't cheap, but it wasn't too expensive. Anyways, the same week I picked it up, I ordered the uh, Toytec Boss Coilover Kit, 20 by 12s, tires, we did exhaust, we did window tent, we got real busy with it. So I needed some base, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money, so I ended up just getting a cheap eBay box. Okay, it's not too cheap, but uh, two 12s, and this is the first time I have pulled the seat back or forward since I put it in, and I noticed, actually, let's get some lighting. There we go. I noticed that the uh, speaker grill was all dented up right there, which is a bummer, but then again, that's what a speaker grill is supposed to do. So it did its job perfectly, and I guess that's okay. So anyways, two JL W312s. They sound fantastic. eBay box, we put a little anchor right here, keep the box real tight, it's bolted down. Again, they sound good. All right, let's move on. All right, so how many trucks out there can you put a big old box with two 12s behind the back seat and still have this kind of room? I absolutely love these Toyota Crew Maxes. Amazing. And the seats recline. Look at that. It just gets better. So to power the JL subs, we just did a JL Audio RD 500 amp digital Real clean installation just underneath the driver's seat. This thing is completely adequate for those 212s. They sound great. You can't even tell it's there when the seat's back. Again, that's how big these trucks are. It just gets hidden. So I left the head unit completely stock. Um, I wanted to do navigation. I wanted to do one of the larger Alpine screens. I just couldn't decide. So uh, this thing's fine. It has... Um, a uh, base control that we added right here. I also moved the USB that used to be coming out right here uh, into the pocket right here. And uh, I just put music on a flash drive, but that's tucked up there, so it's out of the way. We also changed out the door speakers. You can't see them in there, but they're just a uh, basic entry level set of uh, Pioneer replacement speakers. Uh, they're not even amplified, they're just uh, run into the head unit factory, but they sound fine. There's also speakers up on the dashboard. It sounds fine. It just really needed some bass. So anyways, in the end, I highly recommend just putting two 12s. If you have a Tundra Crew Max, just put two 12s. I think 10s are a little punchy. I like the way 12s sound. They fit back here perfectly. You can see that. It's a great fit. I love them. It just, it just keeps pounding. It's perfect. All right, so that's the stereo in my Tundra Crew Max. I'll do more to it uh, later on, and I'll definitely give an update video, but for right now, just two 12s, an amp, a JL bass control, change out the door speakers, and we're good.
All right. Thanks. Wow. Look what happened there.